Hey guys, this is Asia Jade down here at CES 2015. I'm here with Kyle, and he has some 3D printing that will blow your mind. Everyone knows that I'm a big baker here in Las Vegas, but you have taken literally the cake. So how did you come up with this? Uh, I have been an architect by training, so I was really interested in design, and my other passion was food, and so I wanted to combine those, and I started looking at how to design food gravitated to the 3D printer, and that's how it happened. And these wedding cakes down here, that was my obviously my first in like inclination that something rad was about to happen, totally, to my mind. Totally. This is, so how, can you explain how these are actually on the cake okay. itself? Yeah, so what we do at 3D Systems is, in our bakery, we use the ChefJet Pro 3D printer. We design any shape we want on the computer, and we press print, it sends that file to the 3D printer, and it prints it out layer by layer, and when it's done, we pull it out of the sugar and just place it right on the cake. Oh, wow, and are, are, is it hard, is it fragile, what is it? It's a little bit fragile, it's like fondant that's traditionally on a cake. If we dropped it a little bit, it would crack, but it's pretty tough, it lasts a long time. Oh, wow, That's a, and how did you come up with these designs? Now, are these designs hand-painted? Are you spray-painting them on? How, how are you getting the designs? Is that coming out of the printer? It's coming out of the printer so that oh the God. printer can mix RGB food coloring in real time at every single pixel on the surface of uh, the 3D printed object and make a million colors. Oh, so wow. all those colors and patterns are made by the 3D printer itself. First we design them in software and then we print them right out. That, that is absolutely fantastic. And what, what made you come up with this concept? Why, why 3D? What, what made you say, hey, I need to revolutionize my baking? Well, at 3D Systems, we're super interested in democratizing the technology and bringing it into new fields, whether it's fashion or aerospace or baking. And every time we do that, we see that the artisans in that field really gravitate to it, take it up, and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So we're doing some cool stuff right now, but once it's out and other bakers are doing it, we'll see even cooler stuff. And Oh, most definitely. And you mentioned fashion, and I do see a dress that walked in Fashion Week yeah, totally. last year. Yeah. Holy cow. I didn't know. Th this is your creation. Well, that gorgeous dress was made by Iris Van Herpen, a fashion designer, okay. and uh, it was printed on one of our SLA machines from 3D Systems. Wow, that is fantastic. And what is that made out of? Is that edible as well? It's not edible. It's made out of a resin, and it's translucent. It's a little bit soft, and we have some other um, fashion 3D printers that we use specifically. They, some of them are glass or nylon. They're a little bit supple, okay. and often they're interlinked like chain mail so that they can drape right on your wow. body. That. I love chain mail because I'm a big WoW player, so <laughs> oh, <awesome. laughs> if you guys know me, Apollo Brown. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this, and I want to try some now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. So what is this one? So this is 3D printed candy. It tastes like uh, sour blackberry. It's delicious, oh and we made it in the bakery. Oh, my God. So it just crumbles in your mouth like a sweet tart. Like a sweet tart, mm -hmm. totally. Oh my God, it's kind of sour, but it's good. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh. It is like fondant. Yeah, totally. It is totally like fondant. The consistency, it kind of just crumbles a little bit. Yeah, it mixes, melts a little bit. It right? melts a little bit, and then it just kind of smooths out. Good, yeah, perfect. I like it a lot, <laughs> definitely. This is fantastic. And you mentioned that you have a bakery in LA. Totally, that's called the Sugar Lab, okay. and we're expanding this summer, and we'll have a larger bakery in Hollywood where we'll work with local bakeries and make a ton of cool projects. Wedding cakes, candy, oh cocktails, refreshments, everything. Move over, Cake Boss. There's a new one in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so of much, course, Kyle. Yeah. This is a fantastic idea. I wish you the best of luck. And oh my god, that candy is so good. <laughs> my mouth is yeah, watering. Oh, let's speak about this beetle right yeah. over here. How did, how did this come about? This is fantastic. Yeah, this is one of our newest projects. We made it yesterday and at the MGM Grant with the CIA uh, executive pastry chef, Tom Vaccaro. So the Culinary Institute of America educates all the cool top name chefs that you know, like Chef Duff Goldman yeah. of Ace of Cakes and uh, hundreds of others. And what we did was we 3D printed this design in ceramic first. That's okay. the bottom shell of the beetle. And then we poured in cake batter. We baked the cake right in the oven in that ceramic. Oh, wow. We took it out, we let it cool off. And then we put this cool 3D printed top shell on top of that. And we also pulled 
these glass sugar wings and put them on oh as my well. Oh goodness, that is absolutely, and it looks like the real, like a sculpture, like a figurine. Totally, exactly, yeah. yeah. So now with 3D printing, the cake doesn't have to be square, it doesn't have to be round, it can look like anything. And combining those traditional practices with a 3D printer makes really cool projects. Oh, most definitely. This is going to revolutionize a whole bunch of absolutely. things. I mean, I can see people printing couches, feng shuiing their house <laughs> with these printers. I mean, yeah. this is absolutely amazing. Yeah. This is a great idea. Congratulations. For CES 2015, Thank you so much. and I wish you the best of luck. I'm I'm gonna come see your bakery when I'm cool. in LA next. Yeah. Awesome, we'd love awesome. to have you. This is Asia Jade with the Social Media Show. You just got caked. <laughs>